and welcome. And again, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. And if you're watching through the playlist and you get to a video that is not available yet, it will be in a couple of days. And I thank my Patreon supporters who support me and have gotten these videos early all in one lump some. Uh, so, so far we've been looking at a lot of programs, or at least a handful of programs, that allow you to send data out as uh, audio. So you can send it over the airwaves through radios and whatnot. But what we're going to look at today is uh, taking the output of those files and actually generating a WAV file. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our example text again here, which is just some addresses I grabbed offline, so I can cut out that file. You know, it's about 30 addresses here. And what we did before is we piped that into mini modem, and we get said we want to transmit at 110 speed. And if we hit enter now, it starts playing the audio for that. That can be decoded by another machine. Uh, but what we're going to do instead, we're going to take that same exact command, but we're going to add to the end that we want to save it to a file. So we just say dash F, and we'll call it MSG Wave. Uh, let me, there we go, a little, all on one line there. So um, now that we do have that, we can go ahead and hit enter, and it takes no time at all. Boom, it threw it into a wave file. Uh, of course, we can convert this to an MP3 if we wanted to, uh, to save room. Because if I list it out now, I can list and ask it for the file size. And you can see right here, it's uh, it's a five uh, or 8.5 megabytes. Now, if I was to play this, uh, you can see that it sounds just like we're transmitting it. And you can see that it's 1 minute and 32 seconds for that list of addresses. Now, as I say in previous videos, you can change this transmit speed here. I've been using 110. I find that good when you're transmitting, you know, uh, audibly through radio waves. But the faster you go, the more likely you are to lose some information when you're trying to transmit it. But in reality, you can go a lot faster if you don't have, you know, static and, and you know, issues you might have when you're going across the radio. So what we can do for this example, and to save space and do a faster transmission, is we can do, instead of 110, we can do 1200. Now, if I was to list out that file, you can see instead of 8.5 megabytes, it is only 789 kilobytes. Much, much smaller. And if we were to play it out, instead of being a minute and 32 seconds, we only have eight seconds. And again, if I was to transmit that over the radio, it might not come through properly at the other end. But if I had this audio file already, I can now decode it. So I can use mini modem again, whoops, mini modem, and I can say dash dash uh, RX 1200, uh, and then I can say dash file MSG. So the same thing as generating it, only instead of saying transmit with TX, we're gonna say receive with RX. And I do that, boom, and that WAV file now spits out the audio and we get all our addresses instantly. Um, so this is a fun thing you, you could play around with, you know, sending people WAV files that have text hidden in them. And we're actually gonna do more with that in the next video. So I do thank you for watching. I Hope that you watch the full playlist, check it out, and visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's just Chris with a K. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, definitely like this video. Let me know that you like it. And I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.